and welcome back to the channel on this video I want to talk about a bike that's on sale a bike that I owned and recently sold it uh, but I wanted to talk about it because it's such a good deal that I thought I would share this with you if you didn't already know it's on sale and tell you a little bit about the bike and it's the cheapest I've seen the bike on sale for and that's the Ariel Rider Grizzly and if you're not familiar with this bike it is a dual motor dual 1000 watt motor it's a 52 volt and those motors peak at 1850 watts each so together that's a combined 3700 watts it uh, it has uh, two batteries dual batteries uh, one sits under the seat and one on the down tube and the battery that sits under the seat is a 20 amp hour and the battery that sits on the down tube is a 15 amp hour giving you 35 amp hours of battery nice amount a, a lot of times bikes come with single battery and the option to buy the dual and in this case it comes standard with the dual motor or dual battery and dual motor which is awesome so it has uh, dual controllers as well and those controllers are 30 amp controllers for each motor and the bike basically I can tell you that bike is a tank I call it a tank very uh, very uh, powerful strong uh, frame the bike will basically do anything you want it to do if you are looking for a bike that, ha uh, that has some speed the bike can do about 36 miles per hour with both motors on if you only have one motor engaged it drops a little bit maybe to 34 so not much difference but where the dual motor shines uh, is quick acceleration if you're at say an intersection and you want to get through that ASAP or you just want to take off really quick it'll go but beware of the front wheel the motor in the front wheel of course being lighter with less weight back there you're sitting in the back of the bike so the back wheel doesn't do this but the front tire will uh, spin on you and uh, it could throw you if you're not careful and ready for it it could just you know cause it, an issue with you and uh, you could have an accident so be careful with that I would say get a little bit used to and familiar with the bike playing with it a little bit before you get uh, going too fast or using both motors from a takeoff and stuff like that I think you want to gradually get used to the bike the bike has plastic fenders as well I should mention that um, the handlebars are more straight up kind of like a chopper feel I don't like that quite as good as I do the BMX uh, handlebars like I'm I uh, have on this bike here the Lyric Graffiti and I was mentioning the price being uh, $29.99 I think or did I mention the price yet but the price is $29.99 that's $500 off the uh, price the original price and when I bought the bike it was $32.99 and that's the price I paid I got no discounts no nothing I paid full price the bike is free shipping and the bike is nicely right now in stock and when I purchased mine it only came in one color which was red you now have a choice of red blue or the yellow 
I think if I was picking one of those colors, I think I'd go with the yellow. But uh, you can't go wrong with either one. I, blue's my favorite color, so can't go wrong with that. And I've already owned a red, so. The tires, uh, there's a couple of things that are cons in my uh, opinion. And the tires are the first thing. You're going to be getting about 700 miles on those tires. At least this is what I got, about seven or 750 maybe. And then I had to replace the tires. They were worn. And that seems awful quick. When you can't even get a thousand miles out of tires, that seems to me to be awfully quick. And so does a thousand miles. I mean, when you buy a bike, you're not expecting immediately to have to change the tires on the bike. I mean, that you want to be able to ride that thing for a while and not have to worry about changing out stuff. At least that's my uh, way of riding and thinking is, I want to get a bike, I want to ride it. I don't want to have to modify it. Uh, I want to be able to ride the bike. That's why I bought that particular bike is because I like what it has to offer and I want to ride it. Uh, the bike does have a bell on it and another con compared to mine I had version 2 by the way and now they're version 3 there's not much differences in the versions one difference is they've improved the headlight uh, so that's a plus because the headlight was not good that was another along with the tires another con on the bike uh, the seat is not the greatest in the world either but I lived with it. I didn't change out the seat or anything. It wasn't that bad uh, to change it out. But if you're a taller rider, I'm five foot nine. If you're taller than that, you might want to sit back further. And the seat's very short. It doesn't go back very far. But there is room to put a longer seat on. So you might want to do that. And. Trying to think of what else. Oh, I know something else. The charger. Okay, when I bought mine, it came with two five amp chargers, which was, which was really nice. Because most bikes will give you a two amp, maybe a three amp charger, and usually one. Well, they gave two five amp chargers at the time, but now with the new version three, you only get one charger And the uh, charger is now a 4 amp. So instead of getting two 5 amp chargers, you get one 4 amp charger. And, um, but they've changed it up now where the plug for the battery is the same for both batteries. Whereas before, both of those chargers had different plugs on the end. So they were specifically, one charger was specifically for the one battery and one was for the other battery because they had a completely different plug on the end but now they've both got the same uh, plug and like i say it's a four amp charger now one charger so that's a downside but at least it's a four amp and not a three or a two amp but still i like the five amp chargers were nice because they could charge your bike in three or four hours you know and you could charge both batteries up at the same time which was awesome but if you want a bike that has speed, like I'm saying speed, being a, a bike that can go 35, an electric bike is nice, that's good speed. And you want power and be able to climb hills, you kick in that second motor. Like you, I generally rode with the rear motor and then I would kick the front motor on when I needed acceleration for whether it be hill climb or getting through intersections. But uh, wow, that, that bike will do it for you. And if you're wondering why I got rid of the bike, well, my friend Keith was riding it more than I was because I liked the graffiti and now I'm getting the Graffiti X coming uh, shortly. I um, decided to sell it to uh, Keith. And uh, so you'll see the bike, uh, if you're not familiar with my channel, uh, quite a bit. Uh, he's on here quite often uh, with the Aerial Rider Grizzly. So the, channel, the bike still has that uh, appearances here on the channel. And I've got links I'll put up for previous reviews that I've done on the bike. I did a four month 
review on the bike after owning it for four months. I did a 10 month and an 18 month. And also if you have uh, any other uh, videos that you want to watch on the Grizzly, I have lots of videos on the channel from that bike, hill climbs, etc. I did have an issue with the controllers both going out on the bike. First the one controller for the rear motor, then the front. And, uh, but those got repaired, or replaced actually, not repaired, but completely replaced with the uh, one year warranty at the time. It was less than a year before that happened. I think about six months, five or six months into owning it. And uh, so if you want to uh, check out some of those videos about the controllers, that was fixed. I think the uh, version 3 has different controllers on the bike now than those other ones that was having issues, so that's a good thing. I haven't heard of anybody with the V3 uh, having any issues with controllers. So like I say, I will leave a link in the description for those three reviews, and if you want to check out any other videos on the bike, just go ahead and search in, in the channel there and you'll find Aerial Rider Grizzly videos. So that's going to do it for this video. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, thank you very much for doing that. Just hit the subscribe button. And if you want to comment on this or any other video, maybe you have a version 3 of the uh, Aerial Rider Grizzly and you want to give your opinion on your bike and how you like it. Or maybe you've owned version 2 and 3 and can give us a comparison of your thoughts on the comparison of the two bikes. So once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.